Hello everyone, hope you're all alright. As promised, following on from the other video about engines and whatnot, I thought we'd, uh, well I didn't think we'd do it now, we'll go through uh, a carburetor, a nitro carburetor. Um, so let's take it off the engine, I'll use this one as an example, the engine's blown up so it's no good anyway. Um, the carburetor is still a good carburetor. So what we'll do is we'll just take it apart and we'll have a look and I'll show you all the little things. So you need a little spanner and you can take off this high speed needle it just unscrews like that and that's where it goes in there uh, you, you, what you end up with is this um, so you can then take that off of there you've got two little washers at the top and the bottom so be careful with those and this is your needle this is what we have um, so if you've got a bit of a blockage in your nitro engine it, it won't start and you want to start you might have a bit of a blockage at the end you might have a bit of a blockage in those little holes there so you can uh, get some brake cleaner or carb cleaner spray at that and get rid of that or just some compressed air or something of that like now you need you probably will, will need to take out the actual needle itself um, there's the needle there's the inside of that there Not that you can probably see a lot um, there we go, not a lot in there, it's just a little hole at the end and that needle goes into that little hole and that's how it meters the amount of nitro that can go through. That little needle there is tapered at one end and uh, yeah, that's, that's it, there's not a lot to it, it's, it's so simple. Um, they are literally so simple, it is ridiculous how simple a, car, a little carburetor like this is. Um, so that's that, that's the high speed needle we've now removed. There's a tick over screw here, it doesn't really do anything other than adjust the tick over. Um, all that does is push, you can see it's at a bit of an angle there, it pushes on the throttle plate and uh, opens it or lets it close depending on where you have the tick over set. So we don't really need to take that out. Um, now this is the low speed needle, we can take that all the way out. And this obviously uh, is a bit of a more of a fine tune. Um, it does the low speed, but it's also it's a bit of a fine tuning needle. The the coarse tuning is done with the high speed, as we know. And then once you've got the high speed and the engine's running reasonable, you then use the low speed needle just to fine tune it a bit. So it's in much the same manner as the high speed. It's a bit longer, and it's tapered at the end because that's how it meters the amount of fuel going into the engine with the taper. Uh, we can remove, well, I'll have to get an Allen thing and uh, take that off. Oh, already stuck on the end of it. Okay. Now we can take that bit off of there and then we can take this little rubber boot off the end of there and this is the throttle um, slide or whatever you want to call it that goes in and out of there you've not really got any reason to actually remove it. Um, it it can't get blocked there's nothing that can be blocked in there as you can see um, the hole just goes all well I suppose it can get blocked at the end but you, you, don't, you don't need to remove the throttle in order to unblock that you can simply spray some brake cleaner in there and or um, carb cleaner and that will clear that or a bit of compressed air will clear any blockage but there shouldn't be any blockage in the end there because the needle will be going through it you can get long and short needle carburetors this particular one was a long needle carburetor because no a short needle because it goes about three quarters of the way through i think if i remember correctly we'll find out and put it together i can't i can't remember um long needle go all the way People say that long needles are easier to tune than short needles. Personally, <laughs> I have no preference. They just, they, they tune how they tune. I don't give an uncle's monkey the difference. So while we've got this apart, let me show you how the tick over screw works. So we can see here that the, with the tick over screw most of the way out, there is absolutely no, it would, there would be no tick over on this engine because that closes all the way can you see you can see no light coming through around that slide at all right so now if i get my screwdriver 
I'm going to put my thumb on the end of it just to keep it in place and I'm going to turn the screw right clockwise so we're turning it in now this would be if your engine was running it would be raising the tick over or hiring the tick over making it higher and you're going to start to be able to see I don't know whether you can but that is opening the slide and in a minute you're going to be able to see some light at the end of it or maybe not but it is a, it has, it is oh there it is there's the light happy days <laughs> right i can't do it that way i'm right hand you know i can't bloody do it that way uh, right there we go so now right there's the light so if i lower the tick over that little thing there that is closing right so it's letting less air and less fuel now it's closed there'll be no tick over this engine would just stop the minute you stop revving it it'll it'll conk out higher it again oh. higher it oh bloody hell it's hard to do this round the wrong way i'm right handed i'm not left handed it's bloody cock handed i'll tell you that now right where, where are we jesus christ there we go higher in the tick over there you go you can just about see the light that means air is passing through and if air is so is nitro and that will be screaming now that'll be well high that'll be revving like mad if that was on if that engine was running that's far too <laughs> look at the size of that gap anyway that's how the tick over screw works i'm a, i'm a fonder believer of if you understand how something works you under you it gives you a better understanding of why things do what they do and why an engine does what it does if you understand how the carburetor works what the screws do a lot of people when i say to tick over screw just turn it in they turn it in and it does what they want it to do but they don't understand why it does what it does well i've just showed you what it does so yeah there we go there's a carburetor nothing to it really very simple if you suspect it's blocked just do what i say just take the needles out give them a good old good old uh, cleaning with a bit of brake cleaner or carb cleaner uh, a little pin or something to poke out the holes you should be able to see all the way through them little holes um, see that's not blocked at all you see you should be able to see all the way through it oh where are you that was not blocked at all if you can't see through that if it's uh, like that it's blocked yeah um, same for this if that if you can't see through it like uh, like that it's blocked yeah well there we go my friends happy days um, just for the sake of putting it back together that goes in there like that low speed needle goes in there right the boot goes over the top this little piece of throttle goes like that little grub screw holding it in place it does up obviously you've got to put it in a position where you want it it's not in a good position now but you've got to put it where you want it um, that goes over the end there keeps that little boot in place like that Happy days. Um, and we haven't got to put the needle in first, but we have got to slide that over that. There's that uh, high speed. That goes back in there. Obviously, put it. You've got to put it in the orientation of which you need it, because if it's in the wrong orientation, your fuel fuel pipe ain't going to want to go up. Now, what people don't realise is. You can actually adjust where this is. So we've got to do is loosen that, and that's cock. If you want, if you if if your fuel pipe's in a bad position, now you can just move it round to wherever you want it, so that your 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 your, your fuel pipe will go on. And then when you got it where you want it, do it up. Just nip it up. Just nip it. You ain't got to do it tight. Just go nip. That's it, done, sorted, happy days. It's exactly where you need it. Stick your needle in. Now, 
people are probably people who know what they're talking about are probably going to say you didn't you didn't say to check where your settings are before you took the needle out. I know I didn't. Now, when you before you take the needle out, it's a good idea just to see if you if your engine was a good running engine. That is, if it's just an engine that you don't know anything about, it doesn't run. It doesn't matter where the needles are, does it? You can set them later on. But if your engine was running mint, and no it isn't, so you're taking the carb apart, you just turn it in, don't have to do it tight, just go, oh, yep, that's stopped. And then you count how many turns in it is, yeah? So that's how many turns out you need to do. So let's just say it's three turns in, you go one, two, three. And that's that. We're back exactly the same place. The engine will run exactly as it was before. Do the same for the low speed. But there, there we go, Nitro Carburetor. Very simple, nothing to them, just like the engine itself, absolutely nothing to them. They're the most simple engines you could ever come across. Um, that's why they're just such a brilliant thing, you know, because anyone can get one. I mean, you can, if you went down, if you went and bought yourself a motocross bike, there's a lot more complex, although, although them kind of engines are simple, but there's a lot more to them. When they blow up, you've got to take the gearboxes apart to do the bottom end and all sorts. A nitro engine, look at it, it's as simple as anything. Brilliant little thing. So, don't ever be afraid or scared to mend your own engine if it won't run. you just got to use a bit of common sense and think to yourself, right, let's uh, let's get into it. Let's tear straight into it, as these Americans say. Let's tear into it. That's what you look saying at you Americans. Tear into it. Uh, <coughs> pardon me. Um... But yeah, very simple. So I hope now, if you've seen me take that carburetor apart and you've got your car sitting on your living room carpet indoors, not running, and you're and you're you're watching this because you think I want to take that car, I want to take that engine apart, I want to get it to run, but I don't know how to take the carburetor apart, and you're scared of doing it because you're worried you might mess it up, you might make a mistake, you might break something, you might damage something. You've seen me do it now. There's nothing to it, all right? So just do it. You'll be fine. You'll be absolutely fine. No problem at all. I'll see you lot on the next one. Treat everyone else how you want to be treated, and we'll all have a good life. And I'll see you later on. All the best.